All right, first look at Once Human. This is in closed beta. You can try out the closed beta if you get on their website and download their launcher and stuff. So let's get straight into this. This is Enter Game. Okay, I picked the server of Stardust. Okay, privacy policy. Let's confirm. Let's see how this goes. Our lives have followed a long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness, even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. So we're going to get to the character creator. Once your faith overcomes despair. Once you move beyond death. Once life returns to this world. Okay. We'll meet. Beyond that path. Okay, that was an interesting little um, cutscene intro. Let's see, what's the next thing? Probably character creator in some fashion. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's a thing. So the game's still loading, or it says reshaping here. Also, right, the game's not final, so there's bugs or some things um, seem off. Just make a note of that, right? There's still, still a lot left to do. All right, so here's a character creator. So we got some faces. Just leave it at this. All right, so you can do a lot of little things there. Eyes, nose, mouth, makeup. Oh, wait, 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 can I go back? There, bald head. Height. So we're gonna go arc style with everything as small as you can do. So why wouldn't you do it arc style with everything being small? small as you can get. Enter your name. Da -opa. Da -opa. What is this? Little icon thing? Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. Subject status, stable. Dagger, still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlet. 
ready for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach! Activator four. <sighs> All right, so the knife just got evaporated. Mayfly, it is time. Time to begin your journey. Seek out the cradle. Okay, so so far everything's pretty standard FPS survival game controls. You gain insight by reading notes. WASD movement, shift for like sprint. Oh, I guess I was supposed to read that. Read this again. Um, so it's zero seven two eight. Zero seven two eight. Zero seven two eight. So opening. Pick up some loot here. Access card. Survival info. Food replenishes energy. Drinks and water replenish hydration. Medicine restores HP. Access card. Summons. Talk to the strange bird. Hold the tab button. There's the little bird. Press F to interact. Talk to the strange bird. Thank God you made it out alive. Who are you? What is this place? You don't recognize my voice? I don't recognize a goddamn thing. Answer my questions. This place is an abandoned monolith built by the Rosetta Corporation. It housed one of the many silver gates that gave Rosetta access to Rift Space, another dimension of space and time. Another dimension? Yeah. Continue. Look, you have a ton of questions you want answers to. So do I. If we work together, maybe we can survive long enough to learn the truth about what happened. Interested? Yeah, I'm interested. Wait, survive what, exactly? Deviants and deviations, for starters. They're in here right now. 
You'll see. Come on. Let's go find a way out. All right, explore the monolith interior and find the exit. Optional. Press Q to use space time to search for items. In the, uh, oh. So I guess this is a highlighter. Tell me about this thing on my back. It's called a cradle. It protects you from stardust and allows you to channel certain powers. It'll be a vital tool if we want to survive. Good to know. It also contains my consciousness, so try not to damage it, okay? Sure, I'll do my best. Backstab. Oh my god, I messed that up. Oh, I definitely need another weapon. What the hell was that? That was a deviant. A mutated human who was infected by Stardust. I was meaning to ask you about that. Stardust? Well, when the silver gates opened, Stardust just started pouring through. Oh, look at that. The majority of human beings never survived exposure to it. Certainly not in high concentrations. So you can pick things up, and the stuff you pick up can be used to attack the other things. That was so random, but that was pretty cool. Okay, so this highlights stuff. Invigoration. Press E to consume prime energy to activate the weapon's invigoration state, enhancing its special effects and combat abilities. Prime energy slowly regenerates over time or is replenished upon successful hit. Press K to open up the backpack and check your weapons. Alright, so there's weapons. Tactical item, all right, so a grenade. Okay, so these little space rift things are like little instant portal things. Teleporters, I guess. Okay, go to the next waypoint. Pretty good. Lighting tool. Alright, so you're gonna have to use the lights to light up stuff. Activator. Is that a butterfly? Not quite. It's a deviation. Non hostile by the looks of it. Okay, so, do we avoid it? No. Try using your cradle to contain it. Okay, let 
me try to get every all the things here. What is this? Medicine cabinet? Fairy Princess. <sighs> Press Q to use space time to investigate the area. My name's Victor Hammett. What's your name? I want to go home. I want to see my family. I know you do. Can you tell me how you ended up here? Men came and took me away. They said I'd been exposed. Exposed to what? Stardust. I see. I'm afraid. I want to go home. I understand. It's going to be okay. I'll find a way, but it may take me some time. They won't let you take me away. I overheard them. They have plans for me. All right, so it's telling you a little bit more of the story here. The living silver gate is on the other side of that door. We need to take her down, and we need to do it now. Rosetta reinforcements are going to be here any minute. We're running out of time. All right, let's move. Talon, you stay outside and hold off any Rosetta troops that try and stop us. The rest of us Mayflies will breach the room and eliminate the target. Copy that. that humanity must protect itself from. The OE does not see how resourceful and resilient we are. That the future belongs to us. That it is ours for the taking. That we are capable of so much more. But first, we must fight for the opportunity. Or die trying. Alright, there goes that. Suitcase weapon. Any loot here? Friend is back. Hello, Mayfly. It is good to see you up and moving around. Your voice. Uh, who are you? I, like you, was once a regular human. But now, I am an agent of change. A glimmer of hope in a broken world. What does that mean? Come with me. And see for yourself. The 
Oops. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think that was the tutorial. This looks like it's a guarded area here. What is this place? This is a liminal space separating your world from the world of the origin entity. Until you're ready to face the chaos beyond these walls, this is a safe space. The origin entity is what destroyed the world? Mankind's desire to be one with the gods led to the devouring of our world. Hubris. The devastation visited among all living things was the consequence of hubris, yes. But also of two realms colliding. One far more powerful than the other. And the... origin entity, it's still here? The original Great Ones left after almost all living things had been consumed. Yet... the debris of that conflict still pollutes the land and harms the people who survived. It has led us to this moment in time. I don't understand. Find and contain the deviation in this facility, and you will gain the strength to confront the outside world. In doing so, you will also better understand your path. Alright, so the first mission is to do something in this area here. It's a safe zone. Deviations require placements in independent secure units for secure control. Preventing escape or negative effects, securing facilities, assist in investigating deviants, preferences, and traits through communication, thus harvesting deviant power. Okay. Place the butterfly in here. Pause it. Secure power. Withdraw display on cradle. What is this? Okay, so you play the piano, and the thing gets a little bit more happy. <laughs> what is this? Structure decay? Um, turn on the radio? Tier 1. School FM. Not one of those. Talk to the butterfly. Is this deviation I've contained connected to you in some way? In a manner of speaking, yes. And now, it is a part of you. Your path is forming nicely. I still don't understand. What path? It will become clear in time. Be patient. Right now, we must overcome one final obstacle before you are ready. What's that? Deviants. Many of them. Just beyond the barrier. When you're ready, I'll attract them to us. 
I will do my best to help you before this space collapses. Before this space collapses? What the hell are you talking about? The enemy will be very strong. Prepare yourself. Track down the attacking deviants. See what's up here. You feel relaxed. Okay, so this is recovering my HP. And it's also recovering that little mine head stat thing there too. It's getting full. All right. Let's get over there. A little diary thing. Manage generator. Used max output. Alright, so there's your power supply for your like little base thing. That's interesting. Anything over here? Doesn't seem so. What's this? That's the fight. Okay, so we got consumables, materials, special, access card, and then other thing. Well, here's one thing I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of. Mining. We're very thirsty. So we got backpack, gear, primary, torso, there's set pieces too. It's the melee weapon, cradle.
blueprints. So you do have blueprints, then you have mods. Is there a crafting station here? Uh, you know what, this is probably a tutorial, I should probably get out of here. Shoot it in the head. I'm gonna run out of bullets. I think I got a crit. stranger. Alright, I'm gonna talk to this person again. And there's the other person. 
You have done well, Mayfly. Your journey back is complete. Now, a new journey must begin. For the wheel of evolution never stops turning. Only the direction we travel is left unresolved. Remember that the disaster that has befallen our world is not the end, but the beginning of something much greater. Are you coming with us? For now, my place is here. Yours is out there, beyond the Silver Gate, in the world of humans. Though your path will be fraught with danger, you must move ever forward toward fostering a new era of progress for humanity. Where do we start? What do we do? Shut down the Silver Gates inside the Monoliths. Embrace the power of Stardust energy. Gain strength for the battle to come. What battle is that? You will understand when the time comes. For now, help the people and safeguard humanity against those who would threaten its survival. As you gain more power, we will meet again in the in-between. Good luck, Mayfly. Good luck. So we're gonna have to talk to this guy maybe? Grab that thing on the floor? Oh, what is that? Alright, I don't think you can do anything here. So that must have been the full tutorial there. I think this is the actual, like, game world game world now. Oh yeah, look at this. New area discovered, welcome back achievement, level 2. Press V to talk with the figure at the situation after landing. Looks like somebody was building a little base thing there. Oh, there's somebody over there. Same to me. I'm still figuring out what this new form of mine is capable of, but I can sense it through the cradle. Okay, so now what? Find the nearest monolith and shut down the silver gate inside? You realize you don't even have any clothes yet, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we should set up a base of operations, then grow our strength from there. Like before, there seem to be butterfly deviations here in the real world as well. If you can contain them, we should be able to use them to set up a territory of our own. Contain butterfly deviations, establish a territory of our own, grow stronger, then shut down the silver gates. Oh yeah, and get some close. It's a plan. Speaking of which, I've come up with a good way to keep track of our goals. 
I've set up a journey interface through your cradle. If you're ever unsure of what to do, you can always check that for our next step. Gathering. Trees and rocks, wilderness, common sources of materials, paintable. Okay. Gather ten logs, gather ten uh, gravel. All right, so I guess it's gonna go to the tree. How bad did things get when this Rosetta Corporation opened those gates? It got real bad. The death toll alone was unfathomable. They called it Stormfall. Far too pretty a name for what actually happened. And today? It's still bad, but those who survived are trying to build new lives. The Mayflies. You and I, we were trying to help when and where we could. Can we use other people's stuff or can you not? No. So you can pretty much see there's a lot of people who already have a lot of little things down. Storage containers and everything. It says build camp. Find a suitable location and press T to set up a camp. so far. So this looks like it's some sort of an instance or something. What is this? Level 4 we recommended. Rotten Manor. Are these like little instances you can go to? Let me see. Alright, follow the road. Oh, rope that thing. Hide raw meat. It feels like you just got stuck into an instance right now. Alright, so I actually got some ammo there. Stuff there. If 
Find mystery treasure. Defeat normal enemies. Find weapon and gear upgrade. Uh, gear crates. Sorry. Right. So I definitely feel like this right now puts you like in your own little instance. But I'm not sure if that's a thing. I'm assuming it is though. So, so far the game feels really, it feels good right now. What's this? Call the wish machine. So there is an encumbered system here. So you can't go too crazy with everything you pick up. That means Let's see what's up here. There's something up there. Okay, so we got one of these weapon gear crates. Every weapon and armor piece has a mod slot. Alright, so you can modify stuff. So that was probably it for this area. What's this? Acid activator. Bunker access.
So there's a lot, a lot of little things to pick up. Purified water, peppercorn. Weapon powder activator. Okay, so here's a stove. Roasted meat. That's what I got from the killing the deer before. Oh, and you get XP for doing that too. Alright, that's interesting. XP for actually cooking. Is that its own thing? Where do you see XP and stuff? No. Looks like it's just one level thing. Those meters are back up. Okay, there's another step up. Doesn't seem like there's any loot up here. So there's fall, fall damage, foot's kind of broken, all right, just repaired itself. Get item. That sounded something weird down that way. So I think I finished this little zone here of what it wanted me to do. Cool. 
coordinates. Bunker door. Okay, we got gear. No new weapon. Slightly more damage. Modify, right click. Mozzle, optic, mods. Pistol mod. More damage. Press F. And then there's the little mod thing on there. Unequip that. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, that's a mask. There's a helmet. We didn't find anything else there. Okay. Stardust, uh, st some sort of stardust thing dropped there. Oh, that was a good shot right there. Right, there's another player. So I can already see there's a little bit of weirdness happening with other players. I don't know if you want to call it lag or just they look, they look, look, they look like they're moving a little bit weird. So this is spamming me with uh, I'm entering somebody's territory. So like somebody put a claim stick or something down over here. Which seems a little bit weird. Alright, so once you complete the thing, it turns into a check mark. That is interesting. Control the fix on screen. So my uh, my thought about it is, I think it's definitely legit. You go into like a little instance. complete the little zone yourself or something with you and your friends. Let's 
so that's probably a good indicator. You should probably go to all these little things. Somebody has a house there. I need to go south. Is there a way of, you know, probably like this? So you can drink the water, it doesn't seem like you need to do anything special. Alright, let's see what this thing is. What's over here? It's more bush type of stuff. So I'm assuming once I go in here, I get put in my own little instance again. Seems like this is a building kind of thing. So other players are showing up a little bit, um, there's a little bit of like a, a stutter to them. Again, so right, this is like early, early beta, right? So that doesn't seem like too bad of a problem right now. Definitely an interesting way for the stuff to respawn. Alright, I need to go up a level. Can I go up a level this way? Doesn't seem like it.
All right, so I'm pretty sure I completed this thing too. All right. Okay, so it just tells you what kind of things to drop there, and then these are actual things you have to do. Definitely feel like I need to like put something down and get something crafting going. It definitely seems like there's a bund an abundance amount of like stuff on the ground. Teleport? Oh, you can teleport to things. Oh, let me go, let me go there. You can actually have a teleport. Fast travel. So like here's a like a a, a quick like look, right? There's a, a weapons uh weapons bench, uh like a look looks like this is like a clothing bench, a tools bench. This looks like some sort of recycler. There's definitely a bunch of things you can craft. Okay, um, let me head back to this beginning thing and see how I can get to this teleport thing unlocked. way skinning So I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of PvP server or something where you can blow up other people's stuff. Here it doesn't seem like you can do anything to other players. Let's see, is this like the main town again? <clears throat> Alright, so this is like a, a player, player hub town. Station. There's a lot of stuff there. Okay, there's a shop here. So this is to buy. I guess this is to sell. And there's limits to how many things you can buy from this guy. What is this game? Receive daily tasks? Ooh, look at this.
you get a lot of XP for this. Use any activator to recover HP. Kill three deviants with crossbows. Smelt five copper. Find one and loot one weapon crate, armor crate, settlements. Use Molotov. Gather three. Uh... Okay, so you definitely want to get those. You definitely want to go get those things. What is this? Welcome post? Okay, so, so people can put down posts on the ground. I'm assuming this is the teleporter. Okay, so this is like a channel system, like Black Desert Online, I'm assuming. So if your if your instance is very busy, you can change to another another shard. All right, that makes sense. So this, complete morphic hunts, side story quests. Okay, so there's something interesting there. There's blueprints. Consumables. There's a bunch of like mods and stuff you can put on your weapons. And I guess this is to sell stuff again. Interesting. Okay, so now we have this. And it shows a little energy energy symbol. 217 of 1. So I guess you need energy to teleport. All right, that makes sense. Here's another teleport tower. And this costs 100 to go there. Right. Let me see if I can cross this bridge. Oh wait, what's this stuff? So I, I just did, I just did that um, daily and just gave me a bunch of, bunch of, uh, bunch of HP. I mean, bunch of EXP. Okay, so yeah, definitely, you're gonna want to do this daily bonus stuff every day, or whenever it refreshes, you want to get the stuff done. See if I can cross this bridge. Pepper.
There's gotta be something in the bus, right? No, there's nothing in the bus. Oh, something right there. So that's interesting, there's a ramp there, so maybe there's going to be vehicles or something. Okay, that was slightly higher level. And there, the next area is opening up. Level, level, level 11 recommended. And then there's a hub there. What is this? Unfinished Expedition. Defeat Elite Enemies. Alright, so you definitely get more XP, the higher level stuff. Let's go into this higher level thing here. Alright, flying creature. There's a dog over there.
This is a little tanky. So the flying thing buffed the thing on the ground. So even though that's a little bit more harder to kill, it doesn't give you more XP. Super glue. Spawned on me. So these NPCs seem to just only drop this acid stuff. Right, so that kind of looked like it was a, a mimic. Something sounds real- ooh. Ooh, that looks big. Gear crane. thing. Oh! Oh, it's halfway dead. Oh my god.
Wow, you got like no time to to even melee it. Walls is a thing. So that was the elite enemy there. Okay, I still have mysterious treasure to find. Find this thing. Fuse? So you can knock things through the wall. Okay, so you need a special key to go through that. I have a feeling this guy that I knocked over has the key. Let's see.
So I think I'm going to assume the special stuff is in that locked area. There's something on the other side. Ooh, alright, so there's something you can do here, but... It seems like you have to unlock, you have to do something to get that to work. durability. Oh, look at that thing. There's durability on weapons. Oh my god, I've got no more bullets. So these guys drop acid. I think acid's going to be something very, uh, very important here. Complete season goals. Ooh. Cotton fabric book. special over here. Okay, so there's some ladders. You can go up the ladder. Alright, so I'm the top I'm in the top corner of this little area here. Let's see if this mysterious treasure is over here somewhere.
the loot. So it seems that was it for this. So when you did start the game, there was a glider effect thing. Now the question is, will that glider thing work now? No, it doesn't seem like it. too interesting in this top corner there is this thing you go up this thing it seems like there you go all the way up let's go up here and see what's up there crystal thing. So I just got something. it for that. Design blueprint, controller, stardust source, greed, realm coordinates. Coordinates for the greater one rift with monolithic greed. Activate a rift anchor. Bookcase, beverage bottle, bunker access. Lots of different materials. This might be like a little bit, a little bit crazy with these materials. Slow box. Photo frame. OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna also assume a lot of these like weird items or like these these other things are probably used for like recycling. Dust to dust. This probably blows up. I am assuming this is gonna blow up in my face. Alright, I can't hit it. <clears throat> I need a gun for that. Or maybe the weapon is just doesn't work. Alright, so that's good to know. If your weapon has no durability, it won't do any damage. Can you repair the weapons? Employee badge. The employee badge might be what I need to unlock one of the other things in the main area. something here.
Something lit up. I guess it's on the other side, maybe? Oh, there it is. So I gotta go north. Oh, what was this? Get item. I think I went in here already. Good thing these these things don't have a crazy aggro range. So this looks like an administrating type of building here. trouble grabbing this thing. Storage container.
Is there a suitcase friend? Control room key, there it is. So to get into the main thing, you have to go into this building. Note to self. Oh, that big guy respawned. Really big elite guys respawned. That's cool. Okay, so now I do have the key to get into the one of the things up there. Just gotta remember how to get in here. Is it in here? There's a fuse there. So here's the control room. What are you doing here? Okay, there's some ammo. Another thing for a fuse. Gear crate. Okay, that just went through the wall. Well, I guess the door is kind of open. Oh, uh, you consume the control key? Okay, and these things are asking for fuses. I don't know if that's something you can find, or if you're going to have to craft it. Okay, and this looks like some sort of something you can turn on there. Okay, so there's, there's the thing to go to the control room. So you can have two ways of going in, so you only really need one key. And you have that, okay.
Oh, there's something up there. Stand, I got it. So, for you to get to that other thing, I'll go back up there. Spits out some, some stuff. It's guns pointing straight at my face. Oh, I can hit it. It's stuck, yes. Hallelujah. Hundred thirty-six HP for killing this thing. Gives energy. It also dropped the mod. Okay, so I think I understand what you have to do with the, uh, the fuses. No, no, I think I understand what the fuses are for. I don't know how to get the fuses, though. I guess you'd use this to attack the guy. What is that? Blackfell extraction permit. Some strongholds contain inactive source power recyclers. Oh no. Workshop defense individual hives can activate Oh my god, these are going too fast. Stop, stop switching. So I kind of feel like this is like Fallout 76 where you can activate a permit to extract resources in Blackfield region. Head to the workshop. Fire up the resource extractor and snag yourself some portable fuel and acid. All right. I 
think that was it for that. So you have to power the fuses so the other thing works. Can you craft things on the fly? What is this? Blueprints? Mods, basic mods. Shoes mods. So that's what dropped from the elite. It dropped one of those. Exploration Survival and Equipment Get United. Okay, let's make a team. Oh, we gotta get into hiccups. This is to make a camp. So I think you have to power up the fuses and then you would go on here and then it will bring you to the other side where you can loot that thing over there. I think that's how that works. So it doesn't look like this completes until you find the, the, the treasure. <clears throat> Gotta find the mysterious treasure and then this thing will complete. head out and get a camp down. Seems like that's very, very important. What is this thing over here? Monitor equipment. Okay. 
happy meaning. You have to go up it and get the thing on top. Alright, so that didn't work. So this is some sort sort of like a little racing thing. Could help us complete the observation experience and deviant way to heaven. Alright. So you're not supposed to go on those things. Man, I got the hiccups. So this is a little bit weird and a little bit hard to like do. Please come and go. Oh my god, I fell down. So those spots come and go. So you'd have to do the timing correctly. Give me some sort of mod. Recon something something.
think it was an unlock for one of those things, but for a probably different weapon? Wait. Mods? No. No. Don't know, but it looks like there's going to be a bu Oh my god, that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. There's going to be a bunch of these things to do around the map. So there was one right there. near this stuff. Tin, copper, tin, copper, sulfur. Cool if there's actual train coming here. The camp allows you to simple cooking and can make dishes from raw. Okay. Gather supplies. Craft gear. You get 5 XP for that. Corn. Okay, open the cradle, access mimic interface, select to unlock unrecognized. Alright, so there's something in here. Territory construction, territory terminals, facilities, furnace, bench. <clears throat> All right, so we got tactical supplies, syntho bench, basic fortification, logistics. Oh. What does this do? Terminal, terminal, oil lamp, securement facility, basic storage. So you do the tutorial to unlock this first thing, and then you would have to defeat this thing to unlock this next tier of stuff. Trent. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so for first, let's do this. Place the nexus to expand your territory. Most buildings must be built within your territory. A bed, and then there's a bunch of different walls. So this consumes one point, no energy. Okay, the territory terminal, core. You're free to build and rearrange in your home set with its range, engaging in symbol, all right, powers. You can pack up and then relocate. Oh, that's cool. So that's like um, Fallout 76. <laughs> All right, 
right, so I lost my mouse there. So this will make furnace, you can make copper, charcoal, glass. And this, this assembly bench, learn the basics of disassembly, essential for your survival, All right, one of these. Primary workbench. this weapons so this makes a gun and a bat this makes raid suit okay grab that I have 15 points left what's this Lighting, ores, submachine gun, oil lamp, door and window, basic storage, large crate. All right, we're going to one of these, definitely. So this, oh, you definitely need this for ammo. Explosives. Okay, so how do you make weapon powder? Sulfur, charcoal. Okay, there's the acid. That's why everything is dropping acid because you need acid for this. And then you need sulfur, which you can mine. Okay, that makes sense. What does this do? Let's grab that. Launch counter attacks on intruders. Spike trap, fire trap. So I don't think that's important right now. Doors. Roof, no. Get the better weapon. Do we need lights? Glow stick? How many points I got? 10 points left. Um, Facilities. All right, so I don't think you can even. What's this? Secure, contain, preserve. Independent secure unit. It's a small containment setup with built in controls. Plush toy. Um, okay. Tactical supplies, activators, definitely want that. Explosives or grenades, let's grab that. Disease treatment. I think they made it so you're going to have enough points to get everything unlocked in the first thing. Logistics. So you make better foods. A lot of different foods here. Look at this. Gummies. Bread with jam. Stamina boost. Look at that. Energy. Water gathering. All right, so this gets water. Dry meat so the meat lasts longer. Fishing. Get fishing, why not? I think that's it.
I have two more points. Let's get this. Or detector. <clears throat> I don't know if that's important right now. Roofs. Okay, so there's nothing else I can do over here other than these two things. This has everything I can get. This got everything I can get. This has everything I can get. So I just got to spend the points on either. Um, we'll get the lighting stuff. And then the roof. Oh, no, we're done. Okay, so I unlocked all those things. Multiple journey tasks complete. New blueprints. All right, so here's the blueprints coming out. Press B to place the terminal. All right, so here's your terminal control. So you pop this down. Construction mode. Press B to enter construction mode. Lay a foundation. Structures, frame, wood foundation, can we connect it, can it snap to this, okay so it doesn't look like it can snap to that. can snap to and then I'm gonna need more logs all right get out of build mode daily consumption All right, so to, that's interesting too. So there's a uh, cost for that. Okay, that's not a big deal. Can I move this thing? Reallocate, press F. Why, yes, you can move it. Okay, let me not move that. How do you reconnect move territory? Press Z. Does that move everything with it? For anyone know higher than level 25 real camps will have a 30 minute cooldown and cost loss.
So every 30 minutes you can move your foundation, but you would have to redeploy your things up top. All right, that makes sense. And the camp seems to be something that you probably don't need up once you get the other thing going. Like the, the camp is something different from your building stuff, okay. This thing says I have like 400 logs. There, I got a lot of logs. I think I need um, gravel now. Okay, and your home has a little indicator on it too. A window, which is nice. <clears throat> okay, so I think I have enough stone and other stuff to get this going. So we got this, open build menu, foundation. Okay, so it can't be built near a road, it said. What 
does it say? Overlaps with collectible. All right, so I have to eat that thing out there. Okay, it automatically destroyed itself, even better. All right, as you can see, it's very easy to get a, th a foundation going. Primary supplies workbench. There's that. Okay, so there's that. So this needs um, copper, so I have to get the thing to make the copper. Furnace, what is that? So what's the last thing there? Metal scraps. This assemble bench. This is probably going to help with getting <clears throat> the weird things that I need. Dryer. Storage. Fortification. Okay, I can't make any of that stuff. No power. So now I think for me to get a lot of the weird stuff, I need this thing to be doing stuff. <clears throat> okay, hopefully this Okay, there's another way of getting iron. Does this take time to do? No, okay, so that's good. That's really good. This happens instantly, so you don't waste time with this. You can disassemble mods, and mods will give you some, some data element things. Which will let you make better ones. Alright, so that makes sense too. Okay, so I'm assuming all of this should go because this is like scrap stuff, right? And then here you go. You got all these other things that you need to make the other things, all right? Rubber parts, yeah. Now I got all that stuff. And then now I should be able to make some of the other things. Right click. Okay, I need to make a furnace. This needs more copper ore. Lucky for me, I'm right next to a copper node. Requires a more advanced gathering tool. All right, so that you would have to probably make a copper pickaxe. Let's grab this.
Grab those. All right, so now I should be able to make the furnace. Wow, this thing's tiny. Okay, let's see, is there a timer on this or does it all also instantly do it? Okay, so you get charcoal and then you need the charcoal. Okay, so there is a minor timer a minor timer on this. So this you might want to make multiple of these down the line. <clears throat> seem too bad though. Let's see what this is. One minute? All right, that's not that bad. Not that bad at all. The question is now, how long does it take for the copper to respawn? here Definitely want to grab some trees for some logs. there. So that just completed that other daily. So that's pretty cool. It shows you a little indicator on how long that thing is gonna take to uh, to go. So this needs 25, 25 copper. This needs 20 copper. Right, so I gotta get a lot of copper.
And then this needs some, what is that? Some glass. Let's see if I can make a glass. Oh, no, 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 go back. So glass is gravel and charcoal. This other thing. This thing. This you can make ammo. And then this also needs copper. Well, wow. alright, so you're gonna need a lot of copper. A lot of copper, a lot of wood. And then like all of this needs all of this needs this, so this has to be like you gotta keep pumping this stuff out till. Okay, and the copper nodes respawned, so that was like, what, five minutes? That's not too bad at all. The other copper was over here, but it didn't respawn. I might as well chop down more wood. Focus on the really thick, thick ones, because thick ones give you, seems to give you double per hit. Plus 12, plus 13. The other one is like plus 7. How much does this give? Oh, these are good too.
57. Five minutes. What do you need to make a little storage thing? So now the next question is, does this does the does the stuff you have in the storage count for your crafting? What is this? Seeds? Deposit, deposit some. All right, there, I dumped all the wood in here. Let me see if the wood. It picks up the wood, even if the wood is in the other storage thing. That's good. That's really, really nice. Did it just consume it? Where is it? Yeah, see? Wait, wait, where is it? Wait, maybe I'm wrong. What the hell's the wood? Why does it say it's antibiotic when this is wood? Oh, it is antibiotics. There's the logs, the logs are there. That's extremely helpful. Very good quality of life there. Other games have it, so you have to take the things out of the, the container and have it on you, yada yada yada, this is nice and easy. So with this, you can probably get probably get the um, the tin. All right, so that's working. You know, I didn't check to see if you get XP for making that stuff there. Ooh, my camp has disappeared. Oh, let's see here. We put meat here. Salt. Do I have any salt? Sugar, peppercorn, salt. Oh, and that's how this works.
you do get XP for doing that. I just got 57 XP for that. That's also good. Oh, 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 oh. What the hell is this? Oh my god. You gotta put defenses up. I probably should have ran away. They're messing up my buildings now? Oh my god, they do a lot of damage! That's funny. Where do you respawn? So, there's the importance of having defense. Whoa, 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 what the hell? That was shooting me. Oh my god. thing to attack it. Oh my god. This is not fair. The thing's flying in the sky. You can't do shit. broken. Tell me those things are gone. What the hell is it?
You can't even see the things. Look at that crap. Okay, that's annoying. There's your little reason why you need walls and defense. All right, does this, does this give you an, an easy way of repairing things? Oh my God, you need a lot of things to repair them. things a glass so there is an option for repairing which is good right Missing the other structures. Healing bandage. All right, well, I think that's the general gist of this game, anyways. I think I went through everything, the basics, right? So you're gonna be living out of your base. So you gotta you gotta make your base. You gotta build everything. You gotta have traps to uh, wall everything out. Make a roof. Put up turrets and stuff to protect. Then you got this stuff here, where as you're beating up certain things, it unlocks more options for you to to uh, to build with. Wood stairs, lights. What's up? Let's see what else is over here. Resource point contest. For securing your resources. All right, so it looks like you can you can do some sort of locking up of resources there. What's this? Stone fence, stone reinforced roof. Level thirty-five requirement. What is this? All right, let's go over here. Tungsten, level 35. Brick, steel. Garage, metal frame, engine, tires, tank. Standard engines. All right, so you're going to be able to make vehicles at some point.
better weapons. Electric furnace. Tactical supplies. Armor piercing. Activator. Adrenaline shot. Smoke bomb, stun grenade. Steel, steel ammo. All right, so the ammo is based on, on the resource, <clears throat> resource node that you stick in. So you go from what, copper? Oh wait, the other one. Yeah, the first one's copper, and then you get steel. And then what? <clears throat> Tungsten, all right. Let's see, fortifications are probably soon to be better, better. Turrets. Yeah, rifle, shotgun, gravitational grip, close defense. So it just gets better and better. Let's see logistics. Biomass generator. Pylon, what is this? Fermentation barrel. Water purifier. Electric stove, fish and chips, okay, better switch, pylon, sensor, alarm, flamethrower, automatic doors, water pump, Advanced solar generator. Can look at some of the blueprints here. Here are the weapons. Different types of weapons. How to get obtained from a weapon box. Because if you get lucky, right? <clears throat> So whatever reason this one's not popping up. Crossbow. Grenade launcher. Flamethrower. Rocket launcher. Melee weapons. Bunch of different mods that you have to get. That's probably gonna be it. First look again. Once human. Definitely interesting game. This is definitely one I'm gonna be looking at down the line.